I showed you a similar graphic this morning. One thing has changed. The National Weather Service has expanded the red flag warning. So this includes uh, Maryland, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, downstate, Long Island, parts of New England. And I mentioned this because nothing confirmed yet. I got a report over my phone. There is a brush fire in the Conklin area. So uh, any fire that breaks out with the dry conditions we've had recently, with the windy conditions we're getting today, those fires could spread rapidly. Sullivan County is back in that special weather statement due to that higher risk for quickly spreading wildfires. Cold front is working its way across the area. I mentioned this before. We had some early showers, a little bit of sunshine, but here comes that colder air and you can see it because there's some clouds, there's some lake effect rain showers, and as that cold air moves in, I do think we see increasing clouds. We will keep a few showers in the forecast. In fact, if you look at the upper part of your screen, really not a lot showing up, but I'm going to say uh, just east of Oswego getting some showers. Not a bad shot. We're still at 62 degrees, but the winds have shifted. Northwesterlies, 13 miles per hour. That cooler air will continue working its way into our area. In fact, one of the uh, cooler spots on the map to our north or to our northwest with Cortland at 54 degrees, 55 in Ithaca. I think those temperatures are going to continue dropping through the day. 67 in Deposit, 68 in Monticello. We have 69 degrees in Margaretville. There they are by 3 o'clock. Most of us are in the 50s, still a couple of 60s with Bethel and Monticello at 63 degrees. But we have 54 in Richford, 55 in Norwich, 57 in Walton. By this evening, 8 o'clock, temperatures 40s and 50s, colder tonight. Lows dropping down to around 38 degrees, 37 in Owego, 39 degrees in Windsor, 39 in Oneonta and in Roscoe. You can see 41 in Bethel, 37 in Roxbury. I have highs tomorrow near 50 degrees. Future track shows a lot of 40s. And look what happens Saturday night into Sunday morning. It's going to get cold. A lot of locations at or below freezing. A lot of 20s, 28 degrees in Owego. We have 28 in Afton. Walton at 28 degrees along with Bethel, 29 in Margaretville. As far as precipitation, future track does pick up on that. The clearing we had during the morning, but here come the clouds. Still might see a little more sunshine over northeastern Pennsylvania. I don't think showers, rain is going to be a big problem, but you can see the telltale signs, some lake effect rain showers coming off of Lake Ontario. Early clouds on Saturday might still see an early shower. I think we see some clearing as the day goes on. So we do have some sunshine for the weekend, but we are going to be seasonably cool with those highs in the 50s. So cloud showers for today. Temperatures dropping through the 50s. West northwest wind 10 to 20, gusting up to 30 miles per hour. I will keep at least a few showers in the forecast for tonight. Lows near 38 degrees. I'm going to say breezy with the northwest wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's the rest of your seven day forecast. We do need the rain, but that chance of showers is low for today and into tomorrow cooler day with highs near 50 degrees on Saturday. Partly cloudy skies Sunday with a high of 54. Monday, warmer air tries to move back in or starts to move back in. We're still at 54 degrees, but that warm front will give us a 40% chance of rainfall. There's the warmer weather by Tuesday into Wednesday. Partly cloudy skies Tuesday, a high of 66 degrees. Cold front comes through on Wednesday with a 30% chance of showers and highs near 64. Turn your clocks back one hour before you go to bed Saturday night. Daylight saving time ends 2 a.m. Sunday. Tuesday is election day. Looks like weather is going to be nice for voting. Partly cloudy skies with that high of 66.